Hey folks, this is Jake with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today I'm gonna to be sharing a few quick tips and tricks for the Breville Scent Precision Brewers. These brewers are highly capable brewers that can basically adjust anything that you'd want in your brewing capabilities. And at the end of the day, they make a great cup of coffee, whether it's with a cone filter or a basket filter, or even with the optional uh, accessory of the pour over uh, accessory. They can make all sorts of different brews. And I just wanna share a few quick tips and tricks that I've learned and that I used almost every day to make your brew even better. The first thing is first, um, with these machines, I have the glass carafe one here and the thermal carafe here. Like any thermal carafe, there is gonna be some heat sink because the inside of the carafe, once you start brewing, is cold. There's no hot plate on the thermal carafe model. So I would recommend, you don't have to use boiling water, you don't have to use water out of a kettle, but if you do have a you know source of hot water, even just hot water from your sink, as hot as you can get it, fill this up about five minutes before you're ready to brew, and that way you can you know, make sure that your coffee is not going to cool down too fast because you have no hot plate. Um, the Thermal Craft does do a pretty good job of keeping things hot, but warming it up with hot water um, is what I do on the Precision Brewer I have at home and is what I would recommend to make sure that you get a couple of hours of good hot coffee out of the carafe. Second thing is to note is when you switch between the filters, the you can use a number four cone filter or a 10 to 12 cup basket filter, a uh, flat bottom filter, you do have to pull out the insert, you know, to remove the cone insert from here in order to go to flat bottom filters. But another thing to note is, um, and I actually missed this the first couple of times that I did it, is in the settings, there is a filter type setting for either cone or basket. And what that does is when it is on the kind of the automatic settings, like the fast, the gold, the strong, it adjusts the flow rate and it also adjusts the, the basically the brewing rate to ensure that it is optimized for a cone filter, a smaller batch, or a basket filter, a larger batch, up to 60 ounces. And whatever basket you switch into or whatever um, type of filter you switch into, just be sure to set these so that your gold, uh, your fast and your strong settings are not negatively affected by having the wrong filter size. It will, at the end of the day, still work but it does make a little bit of a difference to improve the brew depending on the filter. Now, um, something that I've also learned from using these precision brewers for a long time is that they are definitely not the quietest brewer. Um, these brewers have a basically a vibratory pump inside of them. This is how you can adjust flow rate. It's why you can set low, medium, high in your my brew settings, um, but it does make for a noisier brewer than your classic boiling drip brewer like a like a techniform or something that uses the boiling motion of water um, rather than a pump and what i do at home uh, and what i would recommend is basically um, i have this tamp mat here this is a rhino wears tamp mat we do have them online but you can use basically any piece of silicone um, that you would like um, you can use like a silicone even cutting board um, if you have a couple of flat tamp mats or something like that, these are relatively inexpensive and it is a great way to dampen this sound. I like this one because it's almost shaped perfectly. Uh, so what you do is you would have two of these and you basically set them up like this and on this side of the brewer and then you just set your brewer right on top. As you can see, it does make like a really nice outline. It doesn't even stick out very far past. And then you set one on this other side. And if you have like wood or granite or any hard countertop material, this dampens the sound um, really significantly from that vibratory pump. It makes that, it kind of deadens it so that you're not getting that really loud kind of obnoxious sound in the morning um, that some people can find irritating because they're not used to uh, a precision brewer. I use this at home and I find that it reduces volume significantly. I'm not sure exactly how much, but I'd say, you know, like 30, 40%. And when you're brewing coffee at home, five o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, um, whatever time you wake up, I think quietness is really important. And this is a great tip to quiet it down quite a bit compared to um, what it comes with just sitting on those plastic kind of rubbery feet on the bottom. 
So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and place this aside. And the last tip I want to share is a way to get a kind of a more even brew that I find to be a really effective method um, when you are doing uh, either small batches or large batches. And what I do is when I start to brew, when it's going through the blooming phase, which is the initial 30, 40 seconds, um, if you're doing the gold or fast settings, uh, if you're doing the my brew setting, it is whatever time of bloom you want. Uh, I actually start the carafe or the basket, excuse me. I start the handle all the way over on this side of the water tank and over the 30 seconds that that you're doing your bloom, is I just like to slowly, slowly, slowly rotate it until right about when your brew is over, your bloom is over, you rotate it back. Um, and then you wanna rotate that back into the center just so that the handle is nice and lined up. But during your bloom, just rotating it from here and over, I find that it makes a much flatter bed, which means that you're getting a better extraction you're getting better tasting coffee and you're getting more out of the coffee that you bought because you buy nice coffee and you're brewing it at home with uh, you know, a really high-end brewer. You want to get everything that you can out of your brewer and the, the stock shower screen in the Breville does a really good job, but I find that this makes a good job um, basically into a great job because you're saturating all those grounds right up front, making sure that there's no flat spots, making sure that there's no tunneling and it gives you a lot more even of a brew and it really has improved my drink quality and I think it will help improve yours as well. So I just wanna thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it when you like, comment and subscribe on our videos and uh, we will see you next time. Oh, yes.